We now know what happened to those college students in Washington who passed out at a party and had to be rushed to the hospital earlier this month. It turns out they weren't drugged, as had been suspected. Instead, they had apparently been drinking a popular and very legal drink that's nicknamed Blackout in a Can. CBS News correspondent Ben Tracy is in Ellensburg, Washington this morning with the details. Ben, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. You know, when those students from this college here in Washington got sick at that party, a lot of people thought their drinks had been spiked with the date rape drug Rohypnol. Well, as it turns out, this is what was causing the problems. It's called Four Loco. It's a highly caffeinated, highly alcoholic drink, so potent, some people call it liquid cocaine. Four Loco is a potent combination of alcohol and caffeine, a fruity flavored drink popular on college campuses. Some call it blackout in a can. I blacked out. I don't really remember much of the night. Two and a half weeks ago, freshmen from Central Washington University held a party at this vacation home. School officials now say they were drinking Four Loco mixed with hard liquor. The scene quickly turned chaotic as students began vomiting and passing out. Nine were rushed to the hospital. One almost died. It was feared they'd been drugged. The girls, it was like something I've never seen before. They were... They're almost like they were zombies. They were just passed out, like, they couldn't really function. You can find college students on YouTube chugging for Loco. And with an alcohol content of 12%, it's the equivalent of five or six beers in just one drink. Now we have incident after incident after incident across the country of people drinking alcoholic energy drinks and drinking to the point of uh, that being extremely dangerous. Several states are trying to ban the drink. Students we spoke to on campus say the effects are well known. I've known people that have blacked out from it, and I know that it honestly doesn't take much to drink. Each can kind of increases the effects exponentially. The hospitalized Washington students had dangerously high blood alcohol readings, as high as 0.35, nearly lethal. The girls were outside, like on their back, and people were so drunk they didn't know what to do. In a statement, the company which makes Four Loco says, no one is more upset than we are when our products are abused or consumed unlawfully by underage drinkers. What's really scary about these products is that young people are drinking them, enabling them to stay awake longer, to party harder, to drink more. And Four Loco is not just the drink of choice amongst a lot of college students, it's also popular among high school students. At just three bucks a can, you can get very drunk, very fast, very cheaply. Maggie? Very scary. Ben Tracy in Ellensburg, Washington. Thank you, Ben. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with more. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. I can't believe this is only one of 25 different brands of these drinks that, that mix alcohol and caffeine. How dangerous a mix is that? Well, they're potentially very dangerous. And again, this is not the only one on the market. But what you basically have here is two very powerful but legal drugs, you have the stimulant of caffeine and you have the central nervous system depressant of alcohol. And when they mix, really the concern here is that the caffeine makes you a wide awake drunk. So you don't get that judgment where you say to yourself, wow, I'm feeling a little drunk here. I'd better stop exactly. because the caffeine keeps you so revved up. And everybody, it is not just a little bit of caffeine and a little bit of alcohol. You drink one can of this, you're drinking this much coffee and this much beer. Right. Now, this is what is in a 23.5 five ounce can of this, which is five to six beers and about 12 ounces of caffeine, not including the other stimulants in there, which are taurine and guarana. So again, oh this is very powerful combination. How quickly will you start to feel the effects of this? Well, Maggie, it depends on your age, it depends on your sex, and it depends on your weight. But for a 140 pound person who drinks one can of these in an hour, you can rapidly get a blood alcohol level of 0.13, which wow. will give you significant motor impairment. You won't be able to walk as well. You will have a lack of control and balance, you can have blurry vision, and you can have severely impaired judgment. We need to compare this to the legal limit, which is 0.08. You can easily, with two cans of these in an hour, get to a level of 0.3, which is comatose. Shh. Looks like fruit punch. Smells like fruit punch. Sweet, disgusting, but sweet. Yeah. I could see how they would drink a lot of this, and then try to cover maybe the exactly. bad taste with even more alcohol. That's right, and we have to remember these are young, often underage drinkers, inexperienced drinkers that have no mm. idea how to manage their alcohol intake. Why is this legal? I guess that's a whole other conversation. Potentially dangerous. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you for the okay. warning.